Marvel is a 2022 Marvel series about Kamala Khan, a teenage superhero. She puts on her suit and saves the day, but the next morning she still has to deal with being an awkward kid in high school. On the surface, it's kind of the same as Spider-Man, but it's played totally differently. Spider-Man is usually presented as a blank slate, just like a typical, normal American kid. This is part of what makes Spider-Man great. Anybody could be Spider-Man. But Kamala Khan is the opposite. She's the product of a very specific culture, of a unique time and place. Kamala's story is fundamentally linked with the immigrant experience, the Muslim American experience, the Pakistani experience. It's a great show. Today's math prop appears in episode 4. Kamala is in Karachi, Pakistan, visiting her grandmother, and she finds herself in a room full of old stuff, trinkets and heirlooms from the time of the Indian partition in 1947. And there on the table is this little adding machine, the Mechanical Accountant. This machine was designed and built by the Mechanical Accountant Company in the early 1900s, probably before 1920. The machine is meant to be a relic from 1940s India, but the Mechanical Accountant was made in America, in Maine. From what I gather, the Mechanical Accountant Company was never a real major player, certainly not on the global scale, so this machine is an unlikely object to turn up in India in the 1940s. A British machine, maybe, but an obscure American one is a bit of a stretch. At a glance, it certainly fits into the scene, and it really does help build the atmosphere that the creators are going for, but historically I'd say it's implausible at best. <laughs> Nobody uses this machine on screen, but it could have been useful to them, right? This is a key-driven machine, which operates basically the same as the much more popular comptometer. I mean, really about that one. You know what I'm it's actually a half keyboard machine. The numbers only go up to five. So it's more like my torpedo adding machine. I made a video about that one too. You know what I'm saying? When you look closely, you can see that this dot is a decimal point, And this one is separating the thousands digit. The buttons are color coded too to help you keep it straight. So what we're looking at here are four whole number digits and then the decimal point and then two more digits. It's perfect for dollars and cents or I guess any currency that's divided into 100 units. But in the old days, the Indian rupee and the British pound both had non-decimal subdivisions. You know, like there were 20 shillings in a pound and 12 pence in a shilling. Indian rupees had a similar non-decimal system for the subdivisions. But this machine has two base 10 digits to the right of the decimal point. So there's no way you even could use this correctly to do accounting in India and Pakistan in the 1940s. <laughs> Ironically, there was a mechanical accountant machine which had a column divided into eighths. This would have worked pretty good for dealing with the pre-decimalized Indian rupee which was divided into 16 annas. In summary, I give Ms. Marvel Episode 4 my math props rating of bad. Thanks to Tom Carlson and C.L. Haley for the tip. Let me know if you see any more. <laughs>